this is Duchess, a uh, 44 year old female African savanna elephant. Uh, she was born in 1970 and she came to Peyton Zoo in 1977 with a female Asian elephant called Gay. And the two of them spent the next 33 years living together here at Peyton Zoo. They were the best of friends, virtually inseparable. Unfortunately, in 2010, Gay had to be put to sleep due to chronic health problems. And this left us with an elephant on its own. Around that time, Duchess started to develop eyesight problems, uh, which accumulated in having to remove her right eye and also removing the lens from her left eye. And this has left her with quite reduced close-up vision. Now, when we were deciding what to do with Duchess, because she was on her own, we looked at um, trying to get other elephants in. However, African elephants are not that easy to acquire. To be honest, we found it almost impossible to get another elephant to come in and keep Duchess company. So we looked at perhaps moving her on to another collection, so she'd have some company there. But moving at an elephant of Duchess's age is always going to be stressful for her. So there's that to take into account and also the fact that she was losing her eyesight. Um, the chances are she'd be bullied by the more dominant elephants if we did move her somewhere else um, due to her visual impairment. So there was much discussion, many talks, not amongst ourselves and amongst other zoos and vets on what was the best thing to do with Duchess and it was decided that it was in Duchess's best interest that she remained here at Paynton in an enclosure she knows well with keepers that she recognises. I mean, I've worked with Duchess for 23 years, a long, long time. We know each other very well. We go back a long, long way. When I first started here at Peyton Zoo, the elephants were the animals I wanted to work with, and it didn't take me too long before I got onto the elephant section. I was a bit scared <laughs> when I first started working with them, but uh, it didn't take me too long before I just loved every minute of working with them, particularly Duchess. Duchess has always been my favourite. I know I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have favourites, but I always gravitated towards Duchess. I've always had a thing about her. Um, I've worked with her for the whole of my time here at the zoo. She's a lovely animal to work with. Trunk. Good girl, hold, hold, hold. Good girl. She's very good. She does do what I ask of her most of the time. As long as you keep her well fed, I think. I think, I think that's the key to looking after Duchess, is just giving her lots of food when she wants it. <laughs> you're greedy. You're just greedy. You're just a greedy girl. Eh? She's a very placid animal. She's, she's very calm, she's very sedate. And also, she's a very tactile animal. She does like a bit of human interaction. So quite often I'll just find myself chatting with her, um, just patting her, rubbing her tongue. She enjoys her tongue being rubbed. <laughs> Watch your tusk, girl. Watch your tusk. People sometimes ask me whether Duchess is bored. Uh, they see her standing still and not doing anything, and they take this as a sign of boredom. It isn't. Animals are not active all the time, not even as humans. Duchess is a very regal lady. She's not one for playing. She doesn't, she doesn't like to play at all. Um, she's very aloof. Um, people say they don't see her smiling. Um, elephants don't smile. <laughs> that isn't an indication of her being sad or unhappy. It's just the way elephants look. Her skin's perfectly natural for a middle-aged uh, elephant. Um, like all of us, skin doesn't say youthful forever. Saying that, she's not very keen on water, so she doesn't get herself wet very often, although we do provide water for her. She's got a mud wallow out there, she can spray over herself, she's got sand which she can throw all over herself, but she really doesn't like water, which makes her skin look a, a lot drier than, than it should maybe, but it's not detrimental to her health in any way. Duchess has fairly short tusks. Um, she's worn them down over the years. You'll probably notice that one's actually larger than the other. She tends to prefer to use her to her right rather than her left. Uh, so that one's worn down a lot more. We've never cut them down. That's just natural wearage. Her main pleasure in life is eating. So we try and give her food all throughout the day. I try and spread her food out so she's always got some food to eat. She can be a bit impatient at times, uh, particularly when she's waiting for food. Um, quite often when I come in in the morning, she'll sort of twang the horses a little bit because she wants her food now. <laughs> you know, not in five minutes time when I've prepared it, she wants it now this second. But um, on the whole, she is, she's a good animal to work with. There's not too many jobs where I, I you sort of wake up in the morning and you're, you're keen to get into work because I know I'm going to see my girl and it's just a pleasure being able to work with her. Mm -hmm.